gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the BarbecueBitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up a bacon and ham stuffed sweet potato at the pit. And it's real easy to do. All right. These, of course, are called sweet potatoes or sometimes referred to as yams. All right. They're basically the same thing. All right. But well, we're going to call these sweet potatoes even though they have that reddish color. Now, what we're going to do is wash these up. We're going to wash the skins. We do not want to remove the skins in this and uh, just take one of these scrubby sponges and get any uh, dirt that's on the uh, skins. Wow, you know all about that, right? Mm. Now, if you've never had one of these bacon and ham stuffed sweet potatoes before, you definitely got to check this out. This is some good eating at the pit. Now, these uh, potatoes have been washed and what I'm going to do is cut off the ends, just like that, all right? And you'll see why in a little bit. All right. Now, this video here is about 14 minutes long, so you might want to get yourself a peanut butter sandwich, maybe a beer, because we're going to show you how to do this real up close, all right? Now, I cut off the ends of these potatoes, and you might want to uh, remove some of the heavy scarring. It's not dirt under there. It's just, uh, just some uh, scarring of the potato. And this is optional, all right? Just clean it up a little bit. All right. Now, here's the trick. We're going to get ourselves a heavy-duty apple core, right? It's got a sharp blade on the end like that. And we're going to uh, we're gonna ream a hole right down through the center, just like our potato bombs. You have to check that out if you haven't seen our potato bombs. You just plug it through. Out comes the plug. Just like that. You got, it, uh, you got a nice big hole down the center. And we're going to be using that to stuff some ham in. Let me show you again, just in case you fell asleep. You want to use one of these heavy-duty ones. There's some lightweight ones that you'll literally just break by doing this. There's all kinds of apple cores out there. Just get a heavy-duty one, right? All right. See? Told you this would be real easy to do. Core it out. We'll do the others while you go get another beer. Now, we're going to be using some ham. And, of course, this is pre-cooked ham. And... Uh, we're just going to trim it up a little bit. And we've got about a pound of bacon. You use uh, not quite that with the four potatoes. And we'll show you how that's done. So, you can get these uh, hams most anywhere. This is center cut. We're just going to trim it up a little bit, get rid of some of the fat. Oh, man. I can see the Vegematics and Food Police now. Oh taking the lowly sweet potato and we're turning it into <clears throat> some super food they're not gonna like it all right now use your favorite uh, cut of ham of course and now I'm gonna season it up just a little bit I think you know where we're going with this right so uh, if this is boring you just hit that fast forward button right down in front of you <laughs> The Vegematics and Food Police are already gone. Now, I'm going to take these uh, cuts of ham, and I'm going to stuff them, right? Stuff them right in this sweet potato. Fill it right up. Oh, man. This is going to be good, just like that, all right? Let me do another one. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The um, saltiness of the ham and the 
bacon in this sweet potato is awesome. You definitely got to check this out. This is a meal unto itself. <laughs> All right. Get that ham stuffed in there. Now, you could use a pre-cooked sausage if you want, you know? The ham works really well, especially around the holidays. Man. You don't need no fast-forward button, right? These go especially good when the uh, fall weather comes and start getting cool. Mm. Now, if you've watched our bacon bombs before and how we made them, we're doing the same thing. We're taking some uh, good quality bacon here. Of course, you're going to hear some food police. That's not bacon. Look at all the fat. Yeah, this is American style bacon, somewhat's pork belly bacon. And this is what you want to use. And the fat will render away. All right, see? The bacon holds tight to the uh, potato. Let me do another one. Oh yeah, just wrap it. And this bacon, as it cooks, will literally fuse to the skin of the potato. You gotta definitely check it out. Mm. All right, you get the picture, right? <laughs> All right. Sweet potatoes have been wrapped in bacon and stuffed. Now you're going to take some heavy duty aluminum foil. Just wrap it. And yeah, it's uh, recyclable aluminum, all right? So uh, you food police don't get upset about that either, right? <laughs> yeah, they never stop. Yep. You wrap them like this. And then we're going to be uh, throwing them on the grill. Those low lead plugs there, eh, we'll cook those up too. Add a little bit more SPG. Now, SPG is essentially coarse salt, coarse pepper, and coarse garlic, and some uh, other spices in there. Use your favorite, use your favorite seasoning for this, all right? So we'll wrap those cores up, a little bit of bacon and ham. Now, we're gonna place this Indirect, opposite the hot coals, you want to bake these, right? At about 375 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like that. And it's going to take an hour, maybe hour and a half. But you have nothing to do, right? Just kick back and relax. All right. In the miracle of time, These bacon and ham stuffed sweet potatoes are done. Mm. We're gonna take them off the grill. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a uh, onion and pepper beer sauce here. Uh, if you're not into uh, onion and peppers and beer sauce, then you can just fast forward this video again. You're getting two recipes for one here. And uh, so we've uh, we've sauteed some uh, green and red bell peppers with some onion. We're gonna add about uh, eight ounces of beer to the black iron pan. And here I have some uh, orange marmalade, All right? This is nice orange pepper and onion sauce with beer. I'll mix it up. We're gonna cook it down a little bit. Oh man. I've got a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of soy sauce. And 
here I have some of our hot sauce or habanero chipotle and that's pit master privilege but uh, you might want to add a little bit of heat to this sauce mix it up and cook it down we'll take it off the direct heat and let it slow simmer yeah now we got a slice of ham here, and uh, we're going to serve this, of course, with our uh, bacon and uh, ham stuffed sweet potatoes. So we're going to briefly sear each side of this slice of ham. So get that nice grill, smoky flavor, just for a minute or two, depending how hot your coals are. Flip it. All right, both sides have been seared. Now we're going to put it in this uh, onion and pepper beer sauce. Mm. And we're going to let it simmer for a bit. This will help tenderize the ham, too. You get hungry or what? Like I said, I told you this would be real easy to do. Now we'll put the cover on. Let it simmer slowly. Now let me show you one of these potatoes, what they look like. This has been cooked for maybe an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15 minutes at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It's fully cooked. The bacon, of course, is fully cooked. Everything is hot ready to eat except this is what you can also do you can uh, sear the bacon a little bit more and get it just the way you like that's pitmaster privilege let me show you uh, the inside of one of these You smell that? It smells good. <laughs> Let's get back to this ham and this uh, onion and pepper beer sauce here. Take a look at that. Lord have mercy. I say it's uh, time to eat. If you're going to give us a thumbs up, please do it now. We do appreciate your support. We have over 8,000 barbecue pit boys chapters in over 100 countries. And we appreciate all, of, appreciate all of your support. All right. Got a nice little slice of ham there. Got some, some of that uh, onion and pepper beer sauce with some apple sauce. Now that's a meal, right? And of course, I do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but uh, I call this Pitmaster Privilege. <laughs> so the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out BarbecuePitBoys.com. <laughs>